Well, new medical devices helping paralyze people walk again. The results still early, but they're so remarkable the device could be a game changer. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says it's a newer version of electrical stimulation for the spine. No one ever thought Michael Riccotti would be able to do this or this. In 2017, Riccotti was paralyzed after a motorcycle accident. I tried to move the legs, uh, try to change my position. It was uh, impossible to do nothing. Yeah, I fixed in my mind that it was uh, just a situation. So I put on my, my mind, my behavior to try to solve this problem. And uh, I never stopped. Now he can walk about a mile without assistance thanks to this device. It sends electrical impulses to his spinal cord, and he can control it through his computer. Scientists have been researching electrical stimulation as a treatment for paralysis for decades. In 2014, at the University of Louisville, early versions of similar technology allowed patients to wiggle their toes and move their knees, and even stand up. Then after months of rehab, some of them even began walking. <laughs> The newest stimulator, this one from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, can reach more of the spinal cord and allow people to regain movement on the same day that they receive the spinal implant. This technology is so precise that immediately after the surgery, the patient can walk and stand. Within a week, three patients, men between the ages of 29 and 41, including Michael, were able to walk like this. Their cases are detailed in a study published Monday in the journal Nature Medicine. It took five months of rehabilitation, but the patients were walking, riding bikes, and even boxing. With a crutches, I can stand up and I do a shower. With the walker, I'm free. I can walk wherever I want. So far, only three patients have received these implants. The plan is to test it on 50 to 100 more to make sure it's safe and to see if it works better in some people than in others. The hope is to have the device widely available in three to four years. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.